Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks with Hachiman, bringing you a bonus video here, a double deus ace tanker and the all new TL1 LPC, the offspring tank. Uh, before we get into the gameplay, I'd really appreciate it if you've never found my channel before. Please subscribe, please turn on your notifications for new videos, uh, please like the video and comment below. This is, I'm, I'm really trying to to bring this channel, channel back out to the public. Remember, this is not a channel for the Super Unicum player, but for the average World of Tanks player uh, so that we can all try to learn to be better so here it is so everybody welcome back to world of tanks with Hachiman promised you guys a video a week and I'm actually uh, going to surpass that this week uh, with a double dose of ace tanker gameplay for max the baconator max the bacon eater baconators a sandwich max the bacon eater who is not only in my clan but is also actually my son which you mostly may be aware of that the TL1 LPC he saw how much good fun I was having playing the uh, playing the offspring tank, and he bought one himself. So I got a double dose of ace tanker for you, and here we are. So he's assaulting on Karelia, and he's going this way. Here, let's speed this up so that we can get through the preliminary stuff. Pretty standard deployment here. Guys in the south go this way, guys in the north go that way, and usually light tank scouts out the middle. Alright, first tank spotted. T-71 CMCD, he hits it on the move. T-71 was on the move, he was on the move. The accuracy on this thing on the move is absolutely fantastic. T-71 sticks around, and we've got an object 430 and a super purging in the background. Max is thinking about taking a punt at the super purging. Takes a shot, probably doesn't hit anything. Even if he did, the odds of actually connecting that shot. He locks on, bouncing a shot from a, an AP round from a Ferdinand on his turret. Tracks the TM7, T71 CMCD with the first shot, kills him with the second shot. But, I mean, that was 490 damage blocked right there. Alright, he. For a moment, had the side of 430. He missed. He pulls back. <laughs> Lightweight bounces off his turret. Max is realizing this is starting to get pretty serious already. Object 705 appears on the scene. And he's just not wanting to go up here and mess with this. He uses the box for the, the rocks for some coverage. Still ends up taking some damage from um, from artillery, but he's getting a little bit of spotting damage on these guys. He's already tries to help them out. There's at least five enemy tanks in front of him, and he, even with the gun depression on this thing, he can't get his gun down the way to lift this. Pounds one through the lower plate of the 705 as the 705 charges. Takes some stun effects from. <laughs> Bounces another round. This one from the 705. A little bit of ram damage there. And the 705 is gone. Still got a 430 right there, but there's also an ISM and a T43. Bounces around from the T43. Meanwhile, keeping the dead 705 between him and the 430. Bounces around off the 430. Takes a hit from the T43. Bounces enough. Bounces another round from the 430. T43 goes down with some help from his friends. Pounds one into the 430, who bounces his round. Okay, why do all these guys keep bouncing rounds off of him? Well, they're not aiming. I guarantee you, this is a medium tank. They're thinking, I can just lock on, my gun will go right through. And they're not aiming. It's bouncing right off that heavily angled hull that I talked about, if you watched my my uh, review. Pounds one through the drive wheel for a penetration. And this is an Object 430. This is a Tier 9 tank. That one went through. Pounds another one through the side. Holy crap, the ISM just showed up. Oh god. Oh god. Well, 430 bounces again. He bounces one off the ISM. He's just trying to keep these guys off balance. He needs a little bit of help here. Bounces one off the ISM. Takes one from the 430. People are trying to help him, but they miss. He's face-hugging the 430. Pounds one through. 430 bounces off the turret. He backs up. He's got the guy's side, pounds one through, and now he's got help. He's got a Tiger P here to help him out, and the stair Boffin Traeger finishes the kill. And holy crap, Max is still alive. 
145 health, he's blocked 2,970 damage, he's got a kill with 2,621 damage done, and he's not dead. And <laughs> nice snipe kill on the T-54 lightweight. Max is just holding here to buy himself a little bit of time. Frankly, he needs the heavy tanks to go forward, uh, even though he does have the best spotting uh, range of any of these guys, he just can't be at the forefront anymore. After being at the forefront of a fight featuring multiple enemy tanks that are higher tier. Alright. Heavies have moved up, spotted the Ferdinand. There's not a lot else out there to spot, really. Eh. No real chance for that shot to pen. I just doesn't want to drive in front of that Ferdinand. I don't blame him. Bounces another shot off him. Oh, now he's spotted. Well, Ferdinand's kind of pulled back a little bit. Max figures he can advance if he uses the trench, which he does. Team's up 10 to 5. But would they be up 10 to 5 without his heroics? I know he only has two kills, but just all those tanks coming at him and all those shots, they screwed up. He should have been dead long before this. And none of them bothered to fire premium because they figured it's a medium tank. I can pen a medium tank. This is why you watch these this is why you watch tank reviews as a side note, so you understand where to shoot these guys. Alright, Ferdinand takes a big hit. Max is trying to figure out how to approach this. He just doesn't want to drive in front of another big gun TD, and I don't blame him. Coming around the rocks. There goes the Ferdinand, so he's pretty safe to advance at this point. Only two tanks left. We know where the heavy tank is. Max punts a shot out there. And he's looking for the tank destroyer, which they're pinging the map saying the TD's back in there. I don't think the TD's back in there. Punts another shot at the heavy tank. No chance. Oh, he just spotted the TD. And he almost drove right by the guy. Puts one into the rear, and the WZ finishes the kill. Alright, let's take a look at the stats. So Max earns himself the Ace Tanker, uh, along with, of course, things like Fire for Effect and Shell Proof and Duelist and that type of thing. But more importantly, earns the Confederate Medal as well as the Steel Wall. Two Battle Hero Awards, a Steel Wall uh, uh, for a Tier 8 Medium Tank in a Tier 9 game. Should be absolutely no surprise that he's in first place uh, with over 3,000 damage, a Confederate medal, and a steel wall uh, with, what is that, 1,264 base XP. Uh, just fantastic placement for a great performance. And what is that, 24 shots fired with 20 hits and 13 penetrations for over 3,400 damage. Uh, I mean, great numbers overall considering when you look at everything he had to deal with there. Uh, he took 13 hits, uh, only uh, four of which penned, um, and with 2,970 damage blocked. Uh, earned himself a profit of 115,000 credits. Of course, uh, he was running a personal reserve, but even still, that's just a, a fantastic result there. All right, so hold on one second. We'll jump into the next game. All right, and here's the next game. We got Westfield. This is a Tier 8 match, a pure Tier 8 match. Nothing but Tier 8 tanks on on both teams, which is something that happens a lot now because of the pure number of premium tanks in the game. And I mean, look at it. Look how many of these tanks. I mean, you've got two Lurvas, a Centurion 5-1, a Mod 1, a Super Persian, a TL-1, the Skoda T-27, Scorpion G, two Scorpion Gs, in fact. I mean, there's TS-5, Sturb S-1. The whole team is on Max's team and most of the enemy team is premium tanks. All right, so. Dog eat dog, says Dexter. Alright, so on Westfield, speeding up time here. Um, standard medium tank move, especially if you have gun depression, A speed whatsoever, is to come this way and engage the enemy medium and light tanks. Now, Max does not have a lot of help with him here. 
got a Centurion 5.1, and what is that, T-54 Mod 1? Yep. And then a light tank over there. Alright, first tank spotted, Scorpion G and a Progretto 46 down in the bottom. Now Max goes for it. He figures, based on what's been spotted, he can make the move, and he goes for it. Straight for the corner. Which, if you can get there, is that he does get spotted, but a shot misses. Takes one hit from the P-44 Pantera. A little bit of hit point loss there, but if you can make that move as a medium tank, this is a very strong position. He's got an enemy mod 1 coming right at him. He carefully picks his shot on the turret and pounds it through, bouncing the T-54 mod 1 shot. Oh, he's got a Persian help. Max pounds through the uh, track and then pulls back, bouncing a shot. Bends the lower plate and continues to fall back. He doesn't want to be shot by two tanks at once. Bounces another shot, puts one through the drive wheel for a penetration. And he's going to do it at, well, lower plate this time. Pershing comes forward. Takes hit from the uh, Centurion. Max completes the kill on the Mod 1, though the Mod 1 does penetrate. Max pounds one through the lower plate. Pershing finishes off the Centurion. Max pounds another one through the lower plate. Pershing's at 12%. He just needs one. Oh, Pershing penetrates. And he finishes off the Pershing. And then there's a Scorpion G. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, Scorpion G. <laughs> nice shot there. Scorpion G seems to have lost interest. Max punts one up there. Doesn't hit anything, but... Now we got a Progretto that's gone all the way down the valley. That Progretto that was spotted earlier is still alive, and he's going down the valley now. Someone's going to have to deal with him, but... Max has both kills of, that his team has at the moment, but he's kind of in a pinned down spot. He really can't go anywhere. There's a Scorpion G right in front of him. There's another tank, a Pantera out there. Looks like the Ferdinand and the EBR are going to take care of the Progretto. Alright, so Max is carefully advancing. The Scorpion G just murdered his own Mod 1. Oh, spots the Scorpion G, pounds one through the side. Scorpion G's making a run for it. He pounds another one as the Scorpion G tries to run. And the Scorpion G's now on the other side of the hill, which isn't going to work out for him as the Ferdinand picks him off. Good job, Ferdinand. Now there's a 1.30 p.m. bearing down on the Ferdinand. Max wants to help them out, but at the same time, he knows that there's a Pantera in front of him. And who knows what else. Oh! How about a Super Persian? That shot misses. Would have been hard to snipe that hatch at that range anyway. Max doesn't dare turn his turret if he's spotted. Super Persian fired a premium round. Which, I don't totally blame him with his lackluster pen. Alright, let's, uh... I want to speed this up a little bit because Max is in one of these goofy positions. He cannot really advance because that 130 he'll have a side if he gets spotted, so he can't move up. He's looking around at previously known positions. He's waiting for someone to spot something. Takes a punt at where the 1.30 p.m. was last spotted. Doesn't hit anything. Oh, there's the 1.30 p.m. He just fired, unfortunately. Puts an AP round into him. He's got an HE round loading up. Mm. Not sure. No, nope, he's going to hold off. Nope, not there. Meanwhile, the battle is raging in other parts of the map, slowly but surely. But again, Max doesn't give a side to that 130. HE round goes low and mostly gets eaten by the track. But that's okay, because the EBR is going to help finish him off. Another shot that mostly hits track. And... Oh, Max's shells in the air, and the EBR completes the kill. 
Alright, Max is switching back to AP now. Now we can make the push onto the Super Persian. Super Persian's in a good spot. Can't ask for a better spot than that in this type of situation. Max has to figure out how to deal with him. He's trying to zero in on that weak spot. It is a hard target when the Super Persian's using gun depression. But now the Super Persian is taking damage from the side. And Max is getting the spotting damage for the spot. Oh, nice shot. Max is getting the assist for it. Super Persian tracks him. Actually, it was the Pantera that tracks him. But Max just picked up a ton of spotting XP on that T26E4. Three enemy tanks left. <laughs> There's that Pantera. He's still right there. Max takes a blind shot. And Max at this point knows his game is pretty much done. Um, this, he's not going to get much opportunity at this point. He realize, figures he's good to advance. He does it carefully using the divots. Misses the Pantera thanks to the damage gun. Pantera bounces around. But now Max is picking up spotting damage on the Pantera. And Pantera is dead from the crossfire of the TS-5 and the EBR. Ooh. Takes a penning hit from the Udez, who's still hiding way back there. Max is calling for help. He's just... DBR finally spots the Bad Chat 12T and drives right by him. Max able to, is able to fix his gun. <laughs> that Bad Chat's just not coming out. So the EBR looks like he's uh, trying to spot the Udez, hoping the Udez are, will shoot at him, but nothing happens, so he goes back up for the Bat Chat. Finds the Bat Chat, hits him twice, Bat Chat comes out. Well, change directions, but it doesn't matter. Bat Chat's done for. Yep, this day is over. So only one tank left, and Udez, now he gets spotted. Max is going to advance a little bit and kind of look around to try to get a shot in, but all the buildings in the cap are blocking him. It's just not going to happen for him. So, let's look at the post-game stats to see how it ended up. And Max has the Ace Tanker yet again. Of course, fire for effect and shell proof. Uh, spotter metal this time and a duelist. Um, as well as, oops, sorry about that. The bruiser icon is actually covering up the fact that he again earned a steel wall in a tier 8 medium tank. First on the team again. What else can we say? And overall accuracy number is not as good this time around with 33 shots fired, only 17 hits. But he did get 13 penetrations and a couple splashes for 3,700 damage. Uh, let's be blunt, he was taking a lot of low percentage shots at a lot of long range targets, um, you know, which tends to happen on Westfield. But he did take 11 hits, uh, only 4 penetrations with 1,700 damage blocked, again earning him steel wall. And this time he had 2,200 damage. Um, uh, in assist damage. That's uh, just fantastic result for another race tanker with 154,000 credit profit. Um, you know, tremendous. And the other thing is, you notice in neither one of these games did Max really fire premium ammunition. You really don't need it in the tank unless you're shooting at tier 10 heavies. Um, so that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you'll subscribe. And I, if you're not already, please like and comment below. We'll see you next time.